Blacksmithing has long been loved by hobbyists and tradesmen whose efforts keep handwork skills alive. Connected by internet communities, blacksmithing has seen a massive resurgence of popularity. Facebook, Reddit, and standalone forums like iForge Iron have brought visibility to an art that was otherwise relegated to Renaissance fairs or period historic towns. James Austin is a blacksmith from the California Bay Area, and despite his humble nature, is among the most talented metal workers in the state. His knowledge of working metal, combined with his proficiency at teaching these skills to newcomers, and his passion for reconstructing traditional techniques, make him an asset to the art and trade of smithing. I got started in forging because my dad was an engineer who loved to do complex home projects. And although the family didn't seem to think I should go in that direction when I was young and steered me into sciences, eventually it came out as me deciding to give up a career in chemistry and go uh, into handwork. And it just so happened that at about the same time I made a big break from the PhD I was working on, I got a chance to go to Germany and do an apprenticeship. I knew a certain amount of handwork, uh, metalwork to begin with, but I didn't know anything about blacksmithing. And uh, I also found myself surrounded by really beautiful old metalwork. If I would ever uh, get on my bicycle and go out and visit chapels or uh, towns around, the, around my area, I, would, I could see the most amazing handwork from two, three hundred years ago. As a blacksmith, it is my job to take a piece of cold metal and heat it up and beat it into shape with a lot of different tools and techniques to get my vision out of that piece of metal. And so over the years, I've taken care to collect a lot of techniques and uh, either made or collected a lot of tools to help me do that. My favorite aspects of blacksmithing usually revolve around techniques and the tools are just the, the means to get there. Uh, one of my favorite techniques is piercing. I've done a lot of grills in Germany that involved piercing one bar of metal opening it up and letting the other bar pass through it, that can reach extreme levels of complication and was actually the basis for my uh, journeyman's piece in 1985. If you tackle a project where you know about two thirds of the techniques that you need to use, but you don't know the other third, that it makes a fantastic project to learn and at the same time uh, acquire those techniques and maybe the tools that you build along the way to do the next project. Each time you do that, you just get better and more versatile. I find my inspiration in historical technique and it's probably because I wanted to be an archeologist when I was a little kid. That interest in really old artifacts and old ways of making things was always with me and it just got the upper hand at a certain point and I decided to make it a job but I really love the challenge of going back to techniques that they were limited to uh, several hundred years ago or a thousand years ago and finding that they didn't really regard them as limitations. They were glad they had any tools and they did the most amazing things with them. And I just like to relive some of that and to educate people that those things are possible and po possibly even that they're even realistic given that the tools that you can acquire for yourself on the level of, let's say, Viking or medieval um, metalwork are relatively easy to make or to come by. Part of my ongoing uh, training of myself, which will never stop because I just have too many ideas I want to try, the next thing I want to do is I want to go to Sweden and Norway and learn traditional axe making uh, for the wood building trades there. They, they build traditional wooden houses there, they always have, and to maintain their building stock and to build wonderful new traditional buildings, they use traditional axes and they actually support uh, the, the blacksmiths who want to make axes for, uh, for that purpose. The first advice I'd give to a, a novice uh, blacksmith is that you need to be extremely patient you have to love blacksmithing. You, you have to love just banging on metal, even when it's not working right. 
If you, if you find that that's what your uh, relationship to blacksmithing is, then you, you can go a very long way, but you're gonna have to do a lot of learning. It's a very steep learning curve at the beginning, and, um, and yet you are doing something with your hands that will show you the, every bit of progress you're making. And in fact, you'll have it recorded for the rest of your life if you keep what you make. So uh, just be patient, be focused, and look at the progress you're making uh, to keep up your spirits at it, because it's a, it's a wonderful trade.